uh, this could be a template, right? That ideally I'd like, like to be able to repeat this over and over several times, yes? Okay, uh, so, so uh, ideally this would be a, an entirely different component that I can iterate over and I could display them. I can reuse that component over and over. It only changes the title, the name of the title, yes? All right. Uh, so let's co let's convert that into a um, a separate component. We'll call it uh, we'll call it uh, the course. Uh, we'll call it the course uh, uh, row. Right, and that course row again. So it always starts with importing the React React from React and returning here the um, the course row it returns maybe just um, a table row right and I can just copy this I can re copy cut it from here and just paste it in here okay and then I can export it I can say export uh, in the default I can export the course row and then go back here now I can reuse that course row I, that I just built right course row there it is right so if i render it notice that it looks exactly the same thing i've just wrapped it inside of a component and because it's wrapped inside of a component i can now i can now parameterize it yes i can now say um, that i can i can pass the title of a course and the uh, uh the title is a uh, cs uh, 5200 say right uh and so here i can grab that that uh, that attribute that is being passed to me as a property i can i can parse it out from that object what i get what i get is a map a map of objects with name value pairs the names being the title and the value being the actual value right, so if i have several attributes here right seats the seats available i can spell seats it's got uh, 23 seats available right um I, what i get back what i get here uh, what I get here is a as an object, a map, right, of name value pairs, which I can extract using this notation. This is, this is an ES6 notation of saying, hey, I'm getting an object, parse that object, right, retrieve the following fields, and bind their values to these local variables. Right, so if I say here title, and I say seats, you know that notation says, hey, parse the object. Right, retrieve these fields, these attributes from that object, and bind the values to these local variables. So now I can I can render here uh, title, right, and it looks exactly the same, right? Uh, and maybe I can say um, comma seats. Right, so I have 5,223 seats available. Yes, right. I can go back here and I can uh, I can copy now these courses. I have abstract, I have created an abstraction. I have created an abstraction layer so that I don't have to do all the TR and the TDs and all that, right? I, can, I, I now have a reusable component that I can copy and reuse as many times as I want, right, to, to, to render these so I don't have to deal with the idiosyncrasies and the details of, of, uh, of how this table row is rendered. Make sense, right? So that, that's what we mean by an abstraction, right? And that's what a function is, a function, a class, those are all abstractions, so you don't have to deal with uh, the, the details uh, of implementing them. All right, so here it could be 5200. This could be uh, CS um, 4550 and CS you know, 1800, uh, CS 5610, and this could be 12 with different seats. Right, and there's, a, there's our data. Everybody good? Okay. Um, all right, excellent. 